So Kansas gets to have the world's largest ball of twine. I guess Illinois has the world's largest rocking chair, but right here in good Logan, Ohio, it's the world's largest, world's largest washboard. That's correct, the world's largest. Wow, those are boasting rights right there, you know? <laughs> Absolutely, we're very <laughs> proud of our washboard. So this is the Columbus Washboard Company. Yes. Yeah, so tell me about it. So it's Columbus Washboard Company. It's been around since 1895. They started in uh, Columbus, Ohio, making washboards and have uh, been in operation continuously till now. Uh, they came down to Logan, Ohio in 1999 and uh, I've been making the washboards you see here ever since. People don't really even probably remember that washboards are still in use today. Where are they in use? So they're actually in use all over the world. Wow. Um, about 60% of the washboards made and sold here are actually still used for washboard washing clothes purposes. Is that right? Yeah, and then we also they also sell some for keepsakes and uh, others go to be seen in the movies or uh, you know other other artists and people even use them for music a lot these days still. Are you a good musician when it comes to washboarding? You know, I've never tried, but I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm going to put you to the test here in just a bit. So tell me a little bit more about the company itself. So you give tours. Yes, absolutely. They give tours um, every day that they're open. You can also schedule them in advance uh, by calling and uh, they'll take you through every step of how the washboard is made from crimping the, the aluminum material to putting on the sides to putting on the actual washboard faces. Uh -huh. uh, they'll walk you through every step uh, uh, from start to finish. Not everything is aluminum, I'm noticing. What That's true. Um, so, from what I understand, during World War II, when yeah. there was aluminum shortages and metal shortages, they would actually make washboards out of glass and wood to continue selling for people who needed them during the war period, and oh. uh, while things were rationed. So now when people come buy something like this, is it more a keepsake? If they're buying a glass one here, it's probably a keepsake, yeah. but they still sell a lot for actual washboard uses. In fact, one of the great great things that they do here at the Washboard Factory is uh, via donations, they will send them all over the world to troops uh, who are in remote parts of the world and don't have access to washing oh, machines that's, that's uh, so that they can, they can wash their uniforms while they're on deployment. Why do they have to wash their own clothes? That's what I want to know right now. <laughs> Tell me about the Washboard Festival. What is it actually called, though? It is called the Washboard Arts and Music Festival. Okay. And uh, it is going from June 16th through 18th. We'll start uh, Thursday evening with some live music, and that will continue all the way through Saturday evening when we have our headlining band uh, close things off there Saturday evening. Uh, we'll have arts and crafts vendors throughout, uh -huh. uh, food vendors to get some great delicious food. And uh, one of the new things this year is we actually have a, an arts section of the festival where we're going to have um, demonstrators coming to show off how they create their art. We're going to have some stone carvers and maybe wow. some leather workers and uh, woodworkers. And uh, throughout the whole festival, they're going to be creating pieces uh, that will be shown off Saturday evening. So is it free to the public? Absolutely free to okay. the public. We encourage everyone to come on down to Logan and, and have fun with us. Uh, as you're walking down Main Street, seeing all the entertainment things go by, you'll actually see some clotheslines with, uh, <laughs> with uh, some clothes hanging on. Uh, uh, ready after they've been washing the washboard, they'll be hung really? out to dry going down Main Street. <laughs> Who pulled the short straw for that one? I have to wash all those clothes. Decorative only. I okay. Assure you. <laughs> okay. It sounds like so much fun. So that you're going to have a headliner band. Do you have washboard bands, though, I'm guessing? There are a few uh, washboards that will be played throughout the weekend. Uh -huh. We've got a washboard band coming in, and then uh, we encourage all of our musicians to come and play uh, a little bit of washboard while they're so up there. So tell me about bands. your talents, will you please? Uh, well, I, uh, I uh, am an amateur <laughs> washboard player, but uh, I'd be happy to show you anything you need to know. Well, Drew, you're quite a teacher. I feel like I've got it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what time do we hit the stage? Anytime you want to come, we're ready to have you. Okay, let's, let's get a little riff going here. Ready? Ready? 